It is humid. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to another vlog. It is currently Friday, July 26th. And by the way, if you're new here, my name's Sam. I am a hairstylist. I've been doing hair professionally for about seven years now. And I've been a commissioned hairstylist my entire career. And I am finally going independent. I got my own salon suite and started my own business. And I am gonna be working by myself for myself I am so excited it's been such a process getting everything ready I signed the contract and like made the decision that I was gonna do this back in May was it May May or like late April maybe and I am finally getting the keys to my suite this coming Monday. Just to give you like a quick little layout of what's happening. So like I said, it's currently Friday. I'm about to go to my old salon. My friend is going to trim my hair. The last time I got my hair cut, I did it myself. And I, I did a pretty decent job, but I just wanna go get it a little bit cleaned up make sure everything is like nice and even. Then I'm gonna go stop over at the suite. I have shelves that I need mounted on the wall and the owners so kindly um, offered to hang it up for me. So I'm gonna go drop those off. It's just two shelves. That's gonna be like my back bar behind the shampoo bowl. And then I have some hooks that I wanna put on the wall for clients to hang like jackets and purses and stuff. And I'm gonna finally see the room completely finished and I'm bringing my measuring tape with me so I I'm pretty sure I have a good vision of how I want to lay out the room and where everything's gonna go but I just want to take some final measurements just to be a hundred percent sure and yeah I shared in the last vlog I went shopping a few days ago and stocked up on all of my products and everything that I need for the room so I am like ready to go so excited so yeah, we're gonna go do that. Then tomorrow is my last day taking clients at the old salon. So I just have two clients in the morning. Should be a pretty quick, short day. And then I'm gonna pack up my stuff there. And then yeah, Monday I get the keys and we'll start the move-in process. And I have my first client coming Thursday afternoon. So we're gonna have like three and a half-ish days to get everything set up and ready to go. And I'm so excited, I can't believe like, it. we're finally here, we're finally doing this. It's been a lot of like, things getting pushed back, timeline changes, all of that. But let's go get our hair done first. Okay, I am home. I'm looking a little greasy, I need to blot. Um, I'm eating a cheese stick because we're gonna go out to dinner soon-ish, but I am starving. I need just like a little something to hold me over. But I don't wanna ruin my appetite. Anyway, got my hair trimmed. Nothing crazy different. I just wanted to make sure everything was like evened out. I went to the suite as you saw. Sorry I didn't get as much footage in there as I was planning to. I thought it was going to be pretty empty but there's a whole crew of people there still getting things done and I mean it's done like inspections have been passed and everything already. Oh. Good, it's so sunny there. It's disgusting and poor. My business cards arrived. Moment of truth. Let's see. Cute. There's the salon's name with my little logo. Just very simple. And then all the info is on the back. I gotta scan this QR code and see if it works. Yes! It works! Yay! Ugh. 
sorry. I completely forgot that I was in the middle of vlogging and then my friend called me. I got distracted talking to her and then I went out to dinner with my boyfriend and I just completely forgot <laughs> that I never finished what I was trying to say. And now I just went and got the mail. I showed you guys in the last vlog when I did the big haul of all of my supplies, like my tools and color and stuff like all the stuff that I bought in person, but I also have been ordering a lot of stuff from Amazon and that's all been arriving like the last day or so. So I'll show you what we got here. Another wet brush. I also got some Lysol. Spanish moss. I also got a mini label maker. It was super cheap. I wanna say it was like less than $10. And I feel like that could always come in handy. Jar to put my barbicide in. Then I got a bunch of towels. Oh, a rake to clean the hair out of my round brushes. This is a tissue box cover in sage green, you know, to go with the branding colors. Gloves, processing caps. And then I also got some more color bowls. I already have a few, um, but I found this pack of four on Amazon for really, really inexpensive. I like these two because they are larger. I think these are 12 ounce bowls. So they're a little bit larger than just like your standard color bowl, a little bit deeper. Going there today and seeing the room empty because the only other times that I've gone to see it in person, the first time, there wasn't even drywall up yet. It was literally just the studs. And then the second time, they were like still doing construction and doing plumbing and stuff. So there was like a whole bunch of stuff everywhere. Even though it's not like 100% done just yet, they still have a couple finishing touches that they're gonna do this weekend, but it's you know basically done. So it was just really cool to see it and it just feels so cozy and cute and even though it is i have to say like when i was picturing everything in my mind and planning out like how i was going to lay out the room and everything being in there today i was like oh it's a little bit tighter than i realized so like i have this round rug that was in the living room at my old apartment I was planning on putting that in the suite, but looking at it now and like measuring in there, I realized this is way too big. Like it would fit, but it would take up like pretty much the entire center of the room, which like when I'm cutting hair and stuff, that's not gonna be ideal. So that's not gonna be coming with me. And then like I have this chair that is so cute and I love it and I was picturing having this like in the corner, this would kind of be like my chair to sit and chill. And like when I'm checking out clients, I could sit in this, but I'm not 100% sure that this is gonna fit well in there. It might be a little bit too tight of a squeeze, but either way, I don't even care. Like it's still gonna be the perfect amount of space for just me and one client at a time. And I'm just so grateful to have a space that's my own, like to have the privacy and to just have like the peace and the quiet and to be able to like set the tone uh, and you know have the environment be ideal for me is just going to be so amazing everything also i think is going to fit well we'll make it work i was a little nervous with those shelves above the shampoo bowl i was thinking the shampoo bowl was going to come out a little further from the wall, I was like, oh, the shelves, I don't know if that's gonna be like, if I'm gonna hit my head, if it's gonna be too tight, but I think that'll work out and be fine. It's a little tricky too, because I wasn't really like fully thinking in detail. I was just kind of knew like what the room looked like and the size of it. So I was like, okay, this could go over here, this could go over there. But I didn't take into account that like, based on the plumbing and the electric and all of that, outlets have to go in certain spots and can only be on certain walls. The sink can only be in a particular spot. That kind of throws the layout off a little bit. It like puts more limitations on 
where things can go. I'm gonna go wash my face and get ready for bed and just hang out. I have work in the morning. I'm just so happy for it to be my last day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So humid out here. Oh my God. I'm hoping that talking to the camera will ease my anxiety a little bit. I don't know what is going on with me right now. I don't know if it's just because like subconsciously my mind knows that this is like kind of a big day in a way. I don't, I don't, I don't know what it is, but it's driving me nuts and like all morning I've been having to take deep breaths and I've been feeling nauseous. So yeah, I am about to go to the salon for my last day. This is my last day as a commissioned hairstylist working for someone else. Cause like, you know, I already work for myself doing YouTube and all my social media stuff, but now I'm going to fully 100% be my own boss. And this is just such a crazy feeling and you know I get excited about all the small things like oh my god I'm gonna get my own space and I'm gonna get to pick the music you know let me create my logo and pick out furniture and products and all of that stuff is really exciting but I don't think I've like stopped to really sit down and like fully process the fact that I am never going to use the term I mean never say never who knows what will happen in the future but like as of now I will never use the term my boss. Like, I am my own boss, 100%. It's just crazy because this is what I have worked for, for years. And this is truly what I always wanted. Like, I remember being in college and the years after when I graduated and I got my first job working in marketing and doing social media for random companies and feeling like I would love to be able to just do this stuff for myself. I remember waking up and having to go to like my nine to five and just feeling miserable and so unfulfilled and just feeling like, is this it? This is gonna be my life forever? Like every week is just gonna be the exact same thing and it wasn't enough for me, I wasn't happy. I took a risk and enrolled myself in cosmetology school, but I had that doubt and that fear. Like, what if I'm not actually good enough? Like, what if I'm unable to break out of my shell and like get over my shyness and awkwardness and you know, I'm, I'm gonna have to talk to people and touch strangers and I can't imagine doing that. Am I gonna be able to do it? I'm gonna have to move back home with my parents and take out loans for another tuition. What if it doesn't work out and I change my mind? What if I never figure out what I wanna do? You know, like just so much worry and mixed with self-doubt and imposter syndrome, but I just, I went for it. And like, I, you know, I don't want this to sound corny, but it's like, like I believed in myself. I had people in my real life kind of telling me like, are you sure you want to do this? Like, what? you went to school, you got a degree. Like, what do you want to go back for hair for? You know, you're doing these YouTube videos. Like, okay, that's weird. Like, what? what is this about? But I, I told myself, you can do this. You can figure it out. You know, like if other people can do it, why can't you? And I finally figured out what I wanted to do with my life and what I was passionate about. I started waking up excited to go to work, looking forward to what I do. And then I moved and that was a big risk and really scary and I didn't know anybody and I was leaving, you know, everything that was comfortable and familiar behind. And I was like, but if this doesn't work out, you know, I'm leaving all these clients behind. What if I'm never able to like rebuild a clientele? Or what if after I took this year long break from doing hair, what if I forgot? What if I'm not good at it anymore? What if I've lost my passion for it? Just so many what ifs and so many scary moments. To be able to just like sit back 
in this moment and really reflect and think like you did that like all of these things and yeah it took me a while you know I am 32 years old now I've been out of college for 10 years even when you're in high school you kind of feel pressure maybe not as much nowadays but at the time you know there was this pressure of like as soon as you get out of high school you either go work a trade or you go to college and then as soon as you're done with school you immediately start your career just boom 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 everything in a straight linear line and that's not how things went for me and it's been a few years now where i could say i feel like pretty established and stable in my life and content and all that but to finally feel like this is the goal that I've always worked towards. I was almost there, I was halfway there before, but now here we are. You know, it took me 10 years to figure it out and to get the experience and the confidence. And I feel in a lot of ways that I've, I'm have i kind of a late bloomer. I, you know, I look back at my early 20s and I'm like, I wish that I had the bravery and the confidence that I have now because I held myself back in so many ways back then and I'm like nowadays I would have done things so much differently but it is what it is you know you can't go back and change things there's no point in having regret and all I can do is just feel proud of myself that I'm here regardless of how long it took me and there are people that are way older than I am that are still figuring things out and who knows like I might feel really good now but then in another 10 years from now I might want to pivot and start a brand new career doing something else rewiring your way of thinking and telling yourself that like there is no right way like the traditional path is not necessarily the only way to go about things and if you don't follow that traditional path it doesn't mean that you're a failure or doing things wrong i am just so grateful for everything and, and i know Obviously, I have to give myself credit for the hard work and the, you know, believing in myself and tuning out any doubt that came externally and internally. But I also have to give gratitude where it's due. And my parents have always been very supportive. Oh my God, I feel like I'm going to get emotional. Oh, it's funny because, like, this whole process, like I said, I haven't stopped to really, like, process and reflect. And I haven't felt emotional like it's just been really exciting and like all of you guys for watching me especially those who have been here from the beginning and followed me along all of these <laughs> phases of life and the whole journey because I, I mean I started my YouTube channel back in 2013 late 2012 even I think when I was in college and very much just feeling like lost and was not very happy and I started making videos to just give me like a distraction and something to feel excited and passionate about and like give me a hobby and who knew that it would turn into this 12 years later thank you guys seriously I'm just I'm so grateful and I'm so excited to continue sharing the rest of this journey anyway let me pull myself together a little bit. I have two clients today. It's gonna be a pretty quick day. The first one is coming in for just a single process and a haircut, and then my second one is just a haircut. And then I grabbed an Amazon box. I have a tote bag. I'm gonna bring that in with me, and then I'm gonna pack up my stuff. Let's do this. Let's get through this last day. All packed up and headed to the suite. That actually worked out perfectly. I thought that we might have, well, I still have a couple things still coming. I wouldn't. In the mail. Well, honestly, I don't know how much more you could fit in here well, safely. No, I know. I'm, I was just saying, like, I still have some stuff coming in the mail from Amazon. Mm. So that's not like everything, everything, but I thought, like, looking at it all in the room, I thought we might have had to do, like, two separate car loads. I'm impressed that it all fit. Yeah. 
So it's currently Sunday. I technically don't get the keys till tomorrow, but they texted me yesterday and said they're gonna be there and have the doors unlocked today. So if we wanna start moving stuff in, we can. So I was like, perfect opportunity. I have that big dresser that certainly cannot fit in my sedan. So I have my friend and her husband helping out in their pickup truck. So they got the dresser in there. We got all the boxes and everything else in my car. We're in the suite. They hung up my shelves for me. I'm so excited. I want to fill up this dresser just so I can get majority of these boxes empty. I still have a bookshelf cabinet thing that's going on this wall that is supposed to be arriving I think tomorrow from Amazon and some stuff's gonna go in there as well but majority of stuff is going in here so let's get this stuff put away and organized oh, look how good the lighting is in here too and I don't even have the overhead lights on at all just have those and the overhead lights dim so that is so cool and it's gonna be so nice to be able to get such good after pictures like it's gonna look so good and I don't have to go outside to get like pictures in good natural light so I don't have to be sweating my ass off worrying about the lens fogging up from the humidity the hair starting to frizz <laughs> It's the next day, it's currently Monday. Just got to the suite, obviously. Yesterday, I, like in the excitement and chaos of everything, I didn't think to bring like backup batteries or SD cards or anything, so my camera ran out of storage before I like fully put everything away. But let me show you the progress so far. And then I brought some more stuff over today to put away and I just wanna like, little things that need to be set up. I just wanna make sure I'm like getting everything done and not waiting till the last minute because I have my first clients coming this Thursday. So I wanna make sure everything is like good to go by then. So yesterday I put my tree together from Amazon, the little faux olive tree, which is so cute. And I got that basket from Home Goods and the Spanish moss from Amazon. And I just stuffed it full with like packing papers to like fill it up and i think it looks so good and i love how when you're looking in the mirror you can see it in the background so if i'm ever taking video clips through the mirror showing like consultations or anything like that or even if i am taking after pictures of my client's hair you can kind of see that in the background originally i wanted to put a small chair kind of tucked in the corner over there but now i'm like ooh, it's way too tight and and when you open the door, it's gonna bump into it and the, like it just, mm -mm, not gonna work. So tree is there. And then, I don't know if you can see those little marks on the wall. I have these black hooks that I am gonna hang there so that clients can hang their jackets and purses. And then on top of the dresser, this organizer is from Home Goods. I found it in the kitchen section. How freaking perfect is this? So I put all my styling products in here and everything fit perfectly. So I was able to organize everything based on like what it is. I put my business cards out here, the acrylic holders from Amazon. Oh yeah, and then I brought some tape and super glue. When I was putting the tree together, I pulled on this a little too hard and one of the branches snapped off, but we should be able to fix it. Not a huge deal. And then I filled up these drawers. I brought some more plastic bins to put the color in, so I need to figure out how I want to arrange and organize my color tubes so that they're easy to find. And there's all of my foils and supplies, processing caps, gloves, those kinds of things. And I put my back bar stuff up here. I'm gonna roll up some towels and put those up there. And I also put some things in here um like some brushes and stuff just the new ones my old stuff i have in this box i want to go through and like deep clean everything make sure it's like perfectly sterile before i put it all away but yeah how cool is this little station and then in here 
you have all these outlets on the side this whole thing plugs into an outlet and then you can put all of your tools like your blow dryer and curling iron stuff in there and then that way it's out of the way and it just looks so much cleaner i love that okay so i got my little tool kit and super glue and tape to fix that tree and then i have some more stuff that arrived yesterday from amazon so i have these that just like stick on the wall to hang up your mop broom that kind of thing <laughs> I was just saying hi. hello. Oh, hi. I'm Krista. I'm Sam. Nice to meet nice you, Sam. Nice to meet okay, you. so I run the Instagram. Oh. So I, I, I know you, <laughs> but you don't know me. So nice to meet you. You too. So are, do you also, like, are you going to be in here or you just do social media? Yes. So I'm going to be in here too. They yeah. all look, yeah, they all look so good. Yesterday I was here and I was kind of looking around. And, yeah. You know, the, I know. And it really is amazing. Back there, I'm almost like, um, where am I going? I know. I just did so many rooms. And I've been in here a million times, and I'm like, okay, now I'm lost. And and your room looks so good, though. Thanks. So what are you doing for color storage? That? Yeah, that. And then I have another, like, bookcase kind of cabinet thing that's going to go on that wall that is supposed to arrive tomorrow, I think. Um, so, yeah. Awesome. I like that idea. Yeah, and I'm just doing shelves for the back bar stuff to keep it simple. Yes, I love the shelves idea. Yes. It really pretty. Thank you. Yeah, I'm excited like to get it done and see yeah. it all come together. I think I'll be moving stuff in today once I know. Where, yeah, where you're putting it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so but it's so nice you. to meet you, you Sam. Too. Your Instagram is like awesome. Oh, thank you. Yes. So sweet. Anyway, like I'm saying, I got these to put on like the side of the cabinet. So the cabinet is gonna go like here on this wall and then they're gonna go on the side. I don't know if you can see that, but on the side of it here. So that way the broom and wet mop will be kind of hidden and also off the floor and like, you know, a little more organized. Then I got some more whisks. Oh, and then this is a clear magnetic frame to put my cosmetology license in which i should do right now because i have it here when you work in like the beauty field you have to have your license out on display wherever you're working but yeah i'm very excited i met a few of my neighbors yesterday and then i just met another one today and everyone is so nice and there's so many rooms in here and everyone kind of does something different there's a few hairstylists there's a head spa one of my friends slash clients who actually is the one that like encouraged me and told me about this place she has a room here she's an esthetician i think the room across from mine is gonna be a nurse injector so it's cool there's a lot of different businesses here and even the other hairstylists here i know there's at least one person that specializes in extensions which i don't do and then i think another one does a lot of fashion colors so it'll be cool that we can just all be like this supportive community and like help cross promote each other so yeah there's my license oh and then this is a bunch of chip paint brushes i love using these to like freehand balayage because you get the most like seamless, easy blend. And then I got this cloth, nice and sleek and simple. I'm trying to decide if I should put this on this wall here, like near the work area, or if I should put it there above the tree. I don't know that I want it to be in the background of content though. So maybe this wall might be best, or depending how high, that cabinet ends up being I could put it on top of that I don't know I'm gonna wait on this because obviously this isn't important yet I'll leave that till everything else is done and then I'll decide where I want it to go oh I also got this coaster clear acrylic and I have an accent table that's coming that I'm gonna put in front of the salon chair for clients to put like their drinks and stuff on so this will go on there so excited, got my eye back. It's motion sensored, so you sweep stuff up to it and then it just sucks it up. 
full vacuum. Super convenient to have in a salon. My old salon in Pennsylvania had one of these and it was a game changer. And when I first started working at the last salon that I was just at in North Carolina, she didn't have one at first. It's like hard to go back after you've already had one to having to like pick the hair up with a dustpan. It just feels, it's still a silly thing, but it, this just really makes life so much easier. So I knew that I had to treat myself to one of these. I just need to figure out where I'm gonna put it exactly. <laughs> Let me in the corner over here. And also, I don't have my shampoo bowl chair yet, but they said that that is, they're bringing that today. Um, reminder that salon towels are linty. Maybe not all of them. I guess it depends where you get them from, but got them from Amazon and they feel like good quality. They had good reviews, but they're just very linty. And I did wash and dry them yesterday and there was a shit ton of lint in the lint trap, but they were still super linty. So as you can see, I am covered in lint and it is all over the place in here. So I got them rolled up up there and it is a little bit high for me, but I got the step stool. And it would also be really good if I just have like a really tall client because I'm short. And sometimes with tall clients, it's like hard to get to the top of their head when I'm trying to apply color and stuff. So yeah, got that from Home Goods. And then I have more towels and capes in here i guess i should take these out of the packaging and then i have more capes that are coming from amazon does this fit here oh my god that is perfect the ledges on the window are like the perfect depth to sit my camera on vlogging in here is going to be amazing like i've been telling you guys since i decided to do this that like the content is gonna be so good and it's gonna be so much easier to get content. And this is just confirming that. These are just some cheap Velcro capes that I got at Salon Centric in the meantime until the nicer ones that I ordered arrive because they aren't supposed to get here till sometime next week. But these will do in the meantime. I'm gonna set up the eye back and then get this lint cleaned up and start setting some more stuff up clean my tools so that I can put that away. Okay, so now I am working on trying to organize my color drawer and I'm kind of stuck. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I'm also thinking though, like I don't necessarily need to be able to just like open the drawer and see everything that I have because I'm gonna be by appointment only. I have a form, like a pre-consultation form that I have new clients fill out and I'm gonna make sure before each person comes in, like even my regulars, I'm gonna make sure that I know what our game plan is so that I can be sure that I have all the supplies I'm gonna need on hand. And I'm just gonna do that like each week, the beginning of the week, I'm just gonna like look through my schedule. I keep notes on everyone's formulas and everything. So I'm just gonna see like, okay, who's coming in this week? Do I have everything that I need? And I'll just kind of like purchase rather than trying to like keep a big giant stock just financially doesn't make sense and I also just don't have the physical space for it and like it's just not necessary I'm one person you know it's on a salon with multiple stylists so I'm just gonna stock up like as I need stuff and then obviously like certain colors that I know I tend to use most often like especially certain toners like 9GI I use that so often so I'm gonna always make sure like I have some extra back stock of that stuff. And I think each day when I come in, I will just sort of pull out the color that I'm gonna be using for the clients that I have that day. That way I'm not spending time during the actual appointments like digging through and pulling stuff out. So I guess I don't need to be able to like 
see everything but as long as everything is organized into categories so I know where to look to pull out what I need is the most important thing so this is the drawer so I arranged all of my glosses from lightest to darkest and then like I said I have my treatment stuff here these are some extra fashion colors that i had just in my personal stash and then these are some already open tubes of color that i mean some of them barely have just the tiniest bit left so i kind of tried to arrange these from lightest to darkest but this will just kind of be stuff that like i just you know will add a couple drops just to like finish up the tubes and then over here is all of my boxes of permanent color and i just opened the box up and lifted the tab up so it's just easy to find and I stacked them lightest to darkest and then I have my cream demi tubes so I think I'm gonna just do the same thing with those over here and that way I know like all my demi colors on this side permanent colors are on this side glosses treatments that kind of stuff in the middle to keep everything separated I think that is gonna work best at least for the time being i'm sure i will figure out a different way to better organize this in the future what is nice though is these paul mitchell crema xgs are getting discontinued or new packaging or something so they were on clearance for two dollars a tube and these are three ounces yeah three ounce tubes amazing so i stocked up on colors that i feel like i use the most and then same thing with these l'oreal anoa permanent colors i really like these a lot it's very liquidy and thin so a little bit goes a long way which i love about it like you can really stretch it and these also i guess they are changing the packaging so those were on clearance for like three dollars each gotta take advantage of that kind of stuff when you can i've been here for mm, like two two or three hours and i think i am done for the day so let me show you the progress that i made so i showed you i got the towels situated i put my license in the frame up there i washed all of my tools so these i'm just waiting to finish drying but i put away my blow dryer curling iron straightener organized these drawers so we got round brushes down there because that drawer is bigger and then combs and detangling brushes in this drawer and then this one's like really short so i put clips and pins in here and I have my barbicide jar that I'm gonna keep up here and I put a reed diffuser so it can start smelling nice I decided to go with sandalwood for the scent in here so we got woody sandalwood from dossier and then I put my eye vac over there I feel like that's just gonna be the most convenient spot since there's an outlet right there and obviously like all the hair I'll be sweeping will be right here my tree I super glued and I have it taped just to kind of like hold it in place in the meantime while the glue dries I'm gonna leave that and see tomorrow if it holds hopefully it will this is how the drawers are looking so far towels and capes here oh yeah I already showed you the color organization for the meantime oh I got this wireless label maker from amazon for like less than ten dollars super cute and i use that to print out a label you just connect it to an app on your phone and it comes with a different colored um like label tape and you can change the font and the size and make it bold italic whatever pretty cool especially for something so inexpensive i tried to clean up the lint as best i could but i definitely need to bring my vacuum but i'm gonna wait till thursday morning before I have my first clients and i'll just come in here early and do a final cleaning because especially like putting together the cabinet and stuff like i know i'm gonna keep making a bit of a mess i'm gonna check the status on the rest of my amazon stuff okay so it looks like my cabinet's coming tomorrow my towel warmer is coming today my rolly tray is coming today i ordered a uh, neck rest cushions for the shampoo bowl those are arriving on wednesday i got two different ones because i want to test them out and see which one i like better oh and my accent table 
since it's out for delivery today too. Yay! So tomorrow I will come back and hopefully have all that stuff and I can get that set up. I just love it here so much. I really don't feel like leaving. Like I want to stay here and do more, but there's not really anything left for me to do. So I'm going to go home now. I can't remember if I mentioned this or not, but she said that they are going to bring the chair for the shampoo bowl later this evening and they're gonna get the wi-fi and everything set up either tomorrow or the following day so i'll be able to hook up my amazon echo so we can play music and i can like use it to set timers and stuff it's coming along we're almost there and i'm loving the way that it's coming all together I am heading to the salon suite. I didn't vlog anything yesterday because it was just nonstop getting shit done. My boyfriend came and helped me. We put together the cabinet for my mixing station and just finished organizing a few things. I gave him a haircut so we could kind of test out everything, see how everything feels like for me as far as like how everything's set up and also how it feels for him like the comfort level of like the chairs and the shampoo bowl and I tested out a hot towel on him so a lot of stuff came yesterday since the last time I vlogged so I got the chair for my shampoo bowl I got my hot towel warmer I got my rolling cart I got my cabinet and I also got my little side table which just arrived last night. And actually they delivered it to the wrong address. It ended up at a different building, but the neighbor ended up coming over so kindly and being like, um, I got your package on accident. So crisis of verdicts. I was like, it says delivered. It's not here. Where is it? What's going on? And yeah, I am heading over there now though. And my hair is wet because I'm also going to do my hair while I'm there. So I will see you there and I will show you how everything's looking. I still have curtains coming. I'm just getting some like sheer white curtains because I still want as much natural light as possible, but I don't want to feel like I'm in a fishbowl and like everyone be able to just look right into my room. So I want to have like a little bit of privacy and then I might get blinds for the door, especially since the lobby is right there. I like being right up front and having the lobby be there because it's convenient for my clients are here and if I'm running behind or anything and it also I'll show you guys in the next vlog I was gonna give you a tour in this one but they're still doing little like final touches and perfecting things and I'd rather just show you once it's like completely done so it looks so good already but I'm like may as well wait to show you the final product but it goes deep back there like it's kind of a maze and you can get turned around very easily so that was another reason why I wanted to be right up front because it's just so easy to find my room. The bathroom is literally right there so you don't have to go like walking down the hallway and worry, you don't have to worry about my clients like getting lost or confused. And when people are here in the waiting area to get other services, they will see my room. I'm right up front so it's like good for advertising purposes get that exposure and they are like i designed the decal that's going to go on that window they're providing it for me and putting it up and everything so i think that's supposed to go up sometime next week so i'll see once that is there how i feel because that's gonna add like a little bit of blockage but i might end up getting blinds too just so that way if i need the privacy like if i'm gonna be filming or something i can just cover that window so I don't know we'll see and then I have a neck cushion thing for the shampoo bowl that is arriving today I think that's kind of the last thing for the most part like it's pretty much done now so let me show you what I did yesterday and how it's looking oh actually before I do that let me put my table over here and I have two different types of chargers my clients can use and then this table it actually came as a set it was like a pair of nesting tables and the one is a lot bigger and then this one like fits underneath but the bigger one is just going to take up too much space so i just took the smaller one and then the larger one is in my guest bedroom which i will be converting into an office i'm finally going to set it up and decorate and everything now that i was able to get the dresser out of there and put it here. Oh, that fits perfectly. Perfect fit. And then I'm gonna put the tissues and then that will kind of block the outlet. 
and then this sign and then the coaster so they can put their drinks up there and i like the clear glass because being able to see through it makes it feel like it's not taking up as much space and then it just looks like really clean in the mirror and then this frame i already had i got this in a big pack from amazon this i'm gonna put up there and once i eventually get my salon license once state board comes and like inspects and approves me because this needs to be on display as well this will it'll go in this frame up there so let me set that up i also want to swap these two plants Okay, let's do the unofficial salon suite tour. So here's an overview. Obviously the vacuum is not gonna be here. I just have it here today because I am gonna do a final like deep clean of everything. But this is, this is the room. So cute. I am so excited. Once it is 100% finished in here, I am going to do a separate video. I will go through and show you everything, link everything, tell you where everything is, all of that. But we'll just do like a quick like sneak peek now. So I got those hooks up there. The tree, oh I had super glued that branch. It held and it seems pretty secure. So I'm excited about that. And then this is the dresser, as you know, that I had in my apartment for the longest time. I got my products up here. Oh yeah, and I finally got the physical key to my room. So I have to add that to my keychain. So exciting. I put this eucalyptus here, got my business cards, my Amazon, you know. I don't wanna say the word and trigger yours if you have one. <laughs> my hot towel warmer which I'm so excited about. I tested it out yesterday. It works really well, so that's so cute. And I love that it's compact. It doesn't take up a lot of space because realistically, I'm only going to have like max four, maybe five clients in one day at the absolute most. But like on an average day, I'm probably only going to have like two people. So that is perfect. And then this is the cabinet from Amazon. It actually comes with two shelves, but I wanted this to be like my mixing station. So I got some black tape that I'm gonna use to cover over those little screws so that it just looks a little bit cleaner. But I love this. It was kind of a pain in the ass to put together, but so worth it. I absolutely love it. And I love how it's organized. And I put my security, my ring camera up there. This is what I had got from Home Goods to hold all of my color brushes. And then the jars that I got from Home Goods with my lighteners. And then under here, this is another reason why I love this. So much storage. So all the stuff I want hidden, all my extra developers, lightener, color bowls and bottles and stuff. Under here, there's my hamper for dirty laundry. I don't love this wire like that. So I think I might get an extension cord so that way I can like tuck it and hide it a little bit better. And then here is the chair for my shampoo bowl. And this comes out, it's adjustable. So this leans all the way completely back, which is so cool. So in the future, if I ever want to offer like brow waxing or lash lift and tins, brow tints, that kind of stuff, I can easily do it with this chair, which is so great. Um, and it's nice that you can adjust it too, so that way, you know, different people are, depending on their height and stuff, need like a particular angle to fit their neck comfortably in the bowl. So I love this, like it's such good quality and it has the legs that come out so they can fully recline. So while their gloss is processing, they can lay back. I'm gonna put a hot steamy towel on their hair. It's gonna be so good, I'm so excited. And then my garbage is back here. I wanted to keep this kind of hidden, but also close to the sink so that I can just easily throw foils in there. And then there's the shelves. There was enough space under here, so I put the step stool there, which is so convenient because then I can just pull it out easily if I need it to reach anything up there. My boyfriend hung the clock for me, which I need to put batteries in and set the time. Um, I was trying to figure out where I wanted to put that. 
but I was thinking like here would look kind of cluttered because the thermostat thing is already there and I thought up there maybe but then this wall here it's like that was just blank and empty but I also feel like if I put like artwork or something it could possibly end up looking a little bit too cluttered so i was like perfect the clock will go there nice and simple and who knows i might change that in the future but for now i really like how that looks here's my tray and then my stool that i already had for a long time which is also from amazon i am so looking forward to having a stool so that i can sit again when i'm doing certain things foiling cutting that way i'm not like hunched all the time so yeah that's how it's looking in here i am just so thrilled it's so cute in here i'm so excited to have a space of my own and the fact that like i was able to just pick everything and make it as functional as possible for the way i like to work and what feels comfortable to me it's definitely going to take a little bit of adjusting just to get used to like where things are and like adjusting back to using certain products again and stuff like that. But it's just gonna be so good. I'm gonna end this vlog here though and I'm gonna start a new one right away because like I said, I'm gonna be doing my hair. I'm gonna vlog the whole like first week. So make sure that you're subscribed, stay tuned. I'm so excited for all the good content that is to come. And like I said, I'm gonna do a separate video, like a separate tour. I'm also gonna do a sit down video and I'm gonna go through everything that i had to do in order to get the business running and get the suite and everything so if there's any questions that you have that you'd like me to address in the video leave them down below i'm gonna like accumulate all the questions and make an outline so yeah stay tuned for that as well and i'll see you guys really soon thank you for watching bye